Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a fun little uh, get ready with me where I try some new products. I'm gonna try a brand new palette that I just got in the mail from Stargirl Cosmetics. This is a cruelty-free and independently owned brand and the palette is absolutely stunning. Are you kidding me? Unfair, so cute. Um, oh my God, we're gonna have so much fun with this. So I'm gonna be trying that out for the first time today. And I'm also going to be trying out the Milk Hydro Grip Primer for the first time. I am so excited because I've only heard amazing things. And of course, I'm gonna give a more in-depth review of all of these new products once I've actually gotten used to them and used them multiple times so I can give you more of a thorough and um, honest review. Okay, so I'm taking the primer. I'm very excited. I'm gonna start out with two pumps. Ooh, smells interesting. And just rub that in all over my face. And of course, if I were going out today and actually leaving the house, then I would be using an SPF before this. But alas, I am at home, <laughs> so. Wow, this is very sticky. Wow, okay. Do you see this? Like it has bounce back. Oh, sticky. Now I'm gonna be going in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. We love her, she's an OG. And I'm just going to, mmm. Make art, truly just like make art with your face. Your face is a canvas and you've got a palette. <laughs> um, what's the point of doing makeup if you're not having fun? Wee. okay. Boop, boop, boop. All right, so mama's gonna blend this bitch out Okay, so now that I've got my foundation on, I'm going to cover up my dark circles and some little acne spots with my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the shade Light Peach. This is my go-to cruelty-free concealer. I think it has pretty good coverage and this shade is actually pretty good for me as a pale ginge. You know, we love finding something that is a match. Okay, next I usually like to do my brows. So I'm gonna go in with the NYX Fill and Fluff Brow Pencil in the shade Auburn. This is a pretty good match for me uh, as a redhead. I've looked at many different brow products and this is the one that I've been using lately. Although if you're a fellow Ginge, welcome. First of all, love it, welcome to the club. Um, but please put any recommendations down in the comments for products for redheads because there's not that many and I'm always on the hunt for a cool new product. So I'm gonna do these off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so now the time has come to try out Cherry Bomb. So today I'm gonna be doing this kind of shade range, this kind of like dark maroon situation. Gonna be using some of this region, maybe even, ooh, this seems like a pretty good match as well and we're just gonna have some fun with it. So I'm gonna start with this color over here and just do that on the majority of the lid. This might even be like, I don't know, this might be like a cut crease moment. We have no idea where this is going. Honestly, I fly by the seat of my pants. Okay, the pigment's not bad. Not a whole lot of fallout, but it's not quite as dark as I was expecting, which is fine, by the way. Um, just going to create this kind of light red base color. I'm gonna go and do the same with the other eye. Okay, so now we've got some symmetry going. And I think I'm gonna try, it's a hard choice. I think I'm gonna go in, maybe mix this kind of like, mm, ma not magenta, this kind of like red wine, dark pinky purple with this like reddish brown. I think that that would be a really sexy mix. Um, gonna put that kind of on my outer corner, see what happens. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, we love a pigment. 
that's just the reddish brown. I'm gonna add some of that magenta, some of that um, pinky, pinky purple. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm -hmm. We're just trying to match the shirt, basically. I'm a matching queen. Ever since high school, I have matched my makeup to either my glasses. Hmm. I also have a blue pair. Or my outfits. And that's the way I like to do it. So I'm going a little bit heavy handed here. Just trying to like press it in and bring it like three quarters of the way. We're gonna blend later, obviously, but this is what we're doing now. So I'm gonna do that to the other side. First start with the reddish brown, kind of pack that in the outer corner. And then add some of that red wine. I'm gonna call it Merlot, because none of these shades have names. So we're naming them ourselves, folks. Now with that brush from earlier, I'm gonna use just a little bit of the color that I started with and just kind of blend, blend her up and out, up and out, light strokes, different strokes for different folks, if you will. This is what we're working with right now. Now I might go in with some of this like reddish burnt orange area. Gonna kind of add a little bit more red oh wow yeah these are these aren't bad in terms of pigment it's pretty smooth too the application which I enjoy um, just kind of adding some more vibrancy and a little bit more towards the red so you can see here much more red than purple I don't want to go overkill because I like this purple shade but I don't want it to overtake the palette that I'm going for. And now I'm going to add a little bit of the dark brownish red to under my eye. The brush still has some of the like magenta on it, but honestly, I'm not mad. Once again, kind of blending her just a tad, because I don't want it to be too harsh. Now I'm gonna go in with my Illamasqua liquid eyeliner in the shade black, and just do kind of a sharp cat eye situation on both eyes. Boom. Gonna do the same thing with the other eye. You see, I always say I'm gonna do the same thing with the other eye. In truth, who does the same exact thing with both eyes? They're more like cousins than they are sisters. And they're definitely not twins, okay? Like, just so we're real. But you know what? The beauty isn't in the perfection. The beauty's in the process, baby. The beauty is just having fun with the makeup. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for letting me preach about fun and makeup. Thanks for watching this. The fact that you're still here, I'm blessed. I am so blessed. Okay. Too blessed to be stressed. And now I'm gonna go in, this is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I have used her in one of my other videos. She's lovely. This is honestly one of my new favorite mascaras. She's quite lengthening, volumizing, and not clumpy, which a girl appreciates, okay? And she is very pigmented, like it's black. Cause sometimes mascaras are just kind of like barely there and aren't, um, and they don't pack the punch that you need. This one packs the punch. Mm, we love that. I'm gonna do the other eye. I am going to go in with the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek in the shade Work. And I'm gonna just do this on my cheeks a little bit. I personally like to use this as a little 
cream blush situation. We are just gonna paint her on. Mm, 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 mm. Can you imagine if I, hmm, it's kinda, I don't know what I, I don't know what I think about the smell of this. Kinda smells like childhood, like play, not Play-Doh, but like, I don't know, like almost like toy makeup. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense to anybody. Just gonna like rub that in a little bit. Just add some color to my pale pasty face. Exciting stuff. Yeah, it smells like makeup for kids. <laughs> like cheap makeup and lip balm from Claire's. <laughs> like, that's what I mean. That's what it smells like. I'm not mad. Just to clarify, like, I'm not mad. We love milk. She's cruelty free and vegan. Like, hell yeah, dude. Um, it's just fascinating, okay? It's fascinating. Now I'm going to go in and do some bronzer by The Balm Cosmetics. This is Bahama Mama. I use her in pretty much every video. She's great. Oh, uh, love her. This is also cruelty free. We're going to just put mm, just a little bit of that. We're going to blend her out, obviously. <laughs> but just add a little bit more bronzy glam to my face. She has such dimension, you know? What are we gonna do with her? And by her, I mean me, ha ha ha. Do a little mm -hmm. cheekbones. Who is she? I don't know. Now I am going to do what is my favorite part. It's the highlighter moment. We love a highlighter. It brings me such ecstasy to just add a pop of highlight on my cheek. It makes me so happy. Like, look, yeah, things are fine, you know. And then, I'm a new person. Things are more than fine. I am a changed woman. Oh, whoa. <laughs> accident day it's okay we don't worry about mistakes you know everybody makes mistakes everybody has those days everybody knows what what I'm talking about everybody gets that way if you know what that's referencing you're a real one okay where is my millennial gen z cusp fam at I truly don't know what I am I consider myself a millennial um I'm 24 and a half, but you know, where do I stand? I, I don't know. Now we've got the blush, bronzer, and highlight. The last step, of course, is to do a lip. And today I am going to be doing the half caked liquid lip in the shade low key. Let me just tell you, first of all, look at this packaging with this like donut. I love it. And let me just tell you, this is delicious smelling. I have a thing for good smelling makeup. Appreciate her and I love her. So we're gonna apply this and it's gonna be sexy. Okay, so this is the finished look. I'd say it's a pretty good match for my outfit today. I'm pretty excited about it. Okay, and the glasses are coming on. So I haven't talked about it yet in other videos, but I think it's important for people like me who are very vision impaired and rely on their glasses that you know that you can be super hot and wear makeup and glasses at the same time. It's not mutually exclusive. This is what I would go about my day looking like. For, for the most part, I do wear glasses. I don't like contacts because I got dry eyes, okay? Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for another video. Bye.